be seated. Welcome to the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass. Today is January 12, Thursday of the first week in ordinary time. Our presider for this Holy Sacrifice of the Mass is our cha chaplain, Reverend Father Dave Concepcion. All please stand and let us sing the entrance hymn.
we begin our celebration in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. To prepare ourselves to participate in the sacred mysteries, let us first call to mind our sins and humbly ask the Lord for His pardon and mercy. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us of our sins, and bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Attend to the pleas of your people with heavenly care, O Lord, we pray, that they may see what must be done and gain strength to do what they have seen. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Let us now listen to the word of the Lord. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. The Holy Spirit says, Oh, that today you would hear his voice. Harden not your hearts as at the rebellion in the day of testing in the desert, where your ancestors tested and tried me and saw my works for 40 years. Because of this, I was provoked with that generation, and I said, they have always been of erring heart, and they do not know my ways. As I swear in my wrath, they shall not enter into my rest. Take care, brothers and sisters, that none of you may have an evil and unfaithful heart, so as to forsake the living God. Encourage yourselves daily while it is still today so that none of you may grow hardened by the deceit of sin. We have become partners of Christ if only we hold the beginning of the reality firm until the end. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. If today you hear His voice, harden not your hearts. Together, if today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. Come, let us bow down in worship. Let us kneel before the Lord who made us, for he is our God, and we are the people he shepherds, the flock he guides. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. Oh, that today you would hear his voice, harden not your hearts, as at Meribah, as in the day of Massa in the desert, where your father tempted me. They tested me, though they had seen my works. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. Forty years I was wearied of that generation. I said, this people's heart goes astray. They do not know my ways. Therefore I swear in my anger, they shall never enter my rest. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. Let us now honor the Holy Gospel. Jesus preached the gospel of the kingdom and cured every disease among the people.
The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. A leper came to him and kneeling down begged him and said, If you wish, you can make me clean. Moved with pity, he stretched out his hands, touched the leper, and said to him, I do will it be made clean. The leprosy left him immediately, and he was made clean. Then warning him sternly, he dismissed him at once. Then he said to him, See, that you tell no one anything, but go show yourself to the priest. And offer for your cleansing what Moses prescribed that will be proof for them. The man went away and began to publicize the whole matter. He spread the report abroad so that it was impossible for Jesus to enter a town openly. He remained outside in deserted places and people keep coming to him from everywhere. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. During the time of Jesus, there were three types of people that were considered outcasts. The shepherds, because they are dirty and smelly. The prostitutes, because they are known as public sinners. And the third are the lepers. Because to be a leper is known as a sinner, and not only a sinner, you are infecting people, and you are contaminating the community. That's why in the olden times, they were thrown or thrown away, and they walk with bells, in their hands and every time they see people coming near to them they rang their bells and say lepers 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 it means go away go away the gospel of today speaks of lepers and look at the prayer look at the request of the leper if you wish you can make me clean. If you wish. Kung inyo pong mararapatin. Hindi siya, hindi niya sinabing, pagalingin niyo ako. Alam niya ang kanyang katatayuan ko sino siya. Marahil alam niya ang kanyang kasalanan at nahihirapan siyang humingi ng tawad. Ano po ang sabi ko kahapon? Naintindihan tayo ng Diyos. Kaya nga, sa ating pagiging matuwid, tungkulin natin, pero wag tayong naghuhusga sa ating kapwa. We are called to be right, but bad to be self-righteous when we end up judging our neighbors. You have to understand that even in the book of Psalms, it says, some were sick, because of their sinful ways. Some were sick because of their sinful ways. If you understand clearly, it means not all sick people are sick because they were sinful. Ang iba sa kanila ay may sakit dala ng kanilang mga kasalanan. Ibig sabihin nun, hindi lahat ng may kasalanan nagkakasakit. At hindi lahat ng may sakit, may kasalanan. Di po ba? Minsan po, merong isang pari. Nag-apply ng US visa. Nagulat siya sa tanong ng consul sa kanya. Sabi niya, have you molested anyone? Nagulat siya. Nagulat siya. Sabi niya, ha? 
mukha ba ako nang mumulas siya? Di ba? Ikalawa, hindi ko naman kayang gawin yun. Nakakagalit yung sinabi ng, ng, ng consul. Pero ano ang konteksto? Ano ang konteksto? Kasi sa Estados Unidos, ang daming kaso na, may pa, na mga pari na nang mumulas siya. Nakakahiyaman. Pero yan ang katotohanan. Hindi po ba? Ano? Kaya pati mga kapatid natin pari sa, sa, sa Amerika, ayaw na alaw nilang may katabing bata. Kasi mapicturean ka lang. Pwede kang ikaso. Ha? Maakbayan mo lang. Kaso ka. Ha? Wala na. Touch me not. Hindi po ba? Ano? No limitang here. Touch me not. Ha? O yun ang ibig sabihin nun. Hindi nyo alam. Ano po? Touch me na. Pero ang aking tanong ay, lahat ba nang mumulis siya, pari? Hindi. Lahat ba ng pari nang mumulis siya? Hindi. Magandang pagtunan ng pansin yun. Hindi natin pwedeng ikahon ang kasalanan at hindi natin pwedeng ikahon ang mga nagkakasala. Tanging Diyos lang ang nakakaalam. Kaya nga, huwag tayo mag-uusga. Ano po ang sabi ko kahapon? Nawa ang chapel ng Greenbelt ay isang lugar na kung sino man sa gitna ng kanya mga kasalanan ay pwede siyang pumasok at makatagpo ng kapayapaan. Kaya nga ang, ta- ang titulo ng chapel na ito, Santo Niño de Paz. The child, the holy child of peace. Mahirap yung nakaupo kang ganyan, ramdam mo, hinusgahan ka ng katabi mo. My dear friends, my brothers and sisters, pero tatlong kwento. Una, sabi ng isang babae, nagpapadasal, iyak ng iyak. Bakit? Dahil lang namatay ang kanilang ama, pinapalaya sila sa sarili nilang tahanan. Sabi ko, sino po nagpapalayas? Sarili naming kapatid. Kapatid sa labas? Kapatid sa pangalawang asawa? Hindi po, Pada. Kapatid namin mismo. Parang sinabi daw nung bunso, wala na kayong karapatan sa tahanan ito. Patay na ang tatay. Ang hirap naman nun. Hindi po ba? Ano? Pangalawang kwento. Sa Pilipinas ito. After 20 years of marriage, nalaman ni Mrs. ng kanyang mister ay may anak sa Dabao. Hindi lang ng isa, kundi dalawa. Ang hirap nun. Sweet-sweet ng asawa mo, tapos nalaman mo, may anak pala sa labas, hindi lang isa, kundi dalawa. Ang pangatlong kwento ay, matagal na sila mag-asawa, nasa Estados sila, Estados Unidos, umuwi ang kanyang mister. At dito sa Pilipinas, kumuha ng makakasama na kasing edad ng kanilang panganay. What have we become? What have we become? Ano sabi ko kahapon? Naintindihan tayo ng Diyos, pero hindi tinotolerate ng Diyos ang ating mga kasalanan. Baka piling natin, pag sinasabing naintindihan ako ng Diyos, okay lang ang ginagawa ko. Ang sinasabi sa unang pagbasa, habang may pagkakataon, baguhin mo ang iyong buhay. Today, If you hear the words of God today, not tomorrow, today, harden not your hearts. Ano sabi ko? Sabi nga nung tinanong, when was the best time to plant a tree? Ang sagot, 20 years ago. 20 years ago. Why? Do not expect that the seed you have planted today, you will reap the fruit. You must be truthful to yourselves, my brothers and sisters, that you can never eat the fruit of the tree whose seed you just planted 
today. Kahit kailan. Kung may ginagawa tayong kabutihan, hindi natin makukuha agad ang bunga nito. Bakit? Susubukan niya ng panahon. Tutulig sa inya ng mundo. At minsan, aapihin ka. Marahil ang kasalanan ay ganun din. Sa una, parang hindi masama. Sabi nga, pag ikaw ay nasa construction ng building, pag tinatayo ang first floor, databingi, hindi mo halata. Pag pang second floor na, medyo parang, parang tabingi. Pero pag mataas na yan, halata na yung tabingi. Di po ba? Ano? Pag tabingi na, ano na lang gagawin mo? Aantayin mo na lang matumba? Hindi. Ang Tagalog word ng righteous ay matuwid. Righteous means matuwid. Hindi ibig sabihin palaging tama. Pero pag hindi ka matuwid, ang tawag sa iyo, tabingi. Naintindihan po ninyo. Kaya nga yung mag-asawa, wala ka nang tatapatan kundi ang asawa mo. Pag hindi ka tumapat, tabingi ka. Mahirap po bang intindihin yon? Hindi. Hindi. Kaya kahit kailan, kahit kailan, yung mga nagkakasala, ang problema, ang hira paliwanagan kasi nangangatuwiran. What makes sin more evil is when we try to justify them. The only wrong we can correct are the wrongs we can accept. Alam ng kitongin kung sino siya. Hindi siya nag-demand sa Diyos. Pero alam din ang kitongin na naintindihan ng Diyos ang kanyang nararamdaman. Kaya nga sa kanyang paninikluhod, kung inyo pong mararapatin. May kababaang loob. May kababaang loob. Mga minamahal na mga kapatid, bagamat palagi ko yung pinagdadasal sa mga mag-asawa na nagdiriwang na nebersayo, na kung ano man ang sugat, sakit, sama ng loob, pagtatampo, paghihinala, dala ng pagkakamali o pagkukulang ng sino man, nawa ay mayroong paghilong, mayroong pagpapatawad, mayroong paghingi ng tawad, may pagtalikod sa pagkakasala, at mayroong panibagong pagmamahal. Hindi yan biglaan. Hindi yan biglaan. How I wish and how we wish when we try again to plant a good seed, it will sprout easily without holding back. Keep this in mind. We do not hold our tomorrows. Kaya nga, if today you hear His words, harden not your heart. Amen. Please stand. Jesus did not distance himself from the leper, but he stretched out his hands to heal him. Let us pray that we may come close to those who suffer and in need of help. And every petition that our response be, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, may your healing hand be upon us in times of epidemics, natural calamities, and physical and spiritual illnesses, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. May you deliver us from the scourge of attitudes that, like leprosy, exclude, isolate, and discriminate against people, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. May agencies tasked to study and find cure for deadly diseases be given the wisdom and knowledge to be successful in their important mission. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. As we are fruits of God's love, may we share this love with others, giving of ourselves to others, 
and building relationships that are life-giving, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. May the Blessed Virgin Mary, comfort of the afflicted, protect us. May we console others as we are consoled, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For an end to, but to the pandemic, let the sick be healed, let those who care for them be strengthened, and help us all to persevere in faith and charity, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Merciful Father, we come to you in our need. Look with love on all of us, especially on those who are suffering, physically, emotionally, psychologically, that brings them to loneliness. All this we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us now share our love offerings as we continue with the liturgy of the Eucharist. Brothers and sisters, that this sacrifice of yours and mine be made acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May your people's oblation, O Lord, find favor with you, we pray, that it may restore them to holiness and obtain what they devoutly entreat, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. In Him we have been pleased to renew all things, giving us all a share in his fullness. For though he was in a form of God, he emptied himself, and by the blood of his cross brought peace to all creation. Therefore, he has been exalted above all things, and to all who obey him has become the source of eternal salvation. And so with all the angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, gave you thanks, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more gave you thanks, gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life in the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Jose, our Bishop, all the bishops and all the clergy. Father, please hear the prayers of your children gathered here before your holy presence. Let's spend a few moments of silence, and I invite your brothers and sisters that you personally ask the Lord for a special grace you want to receive in this Eucharistic celebration. Ask the Lord. Remember also all our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Padre Pio of Petrochina and all the saints of Lysia throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. <laughs> Gathering all our prayers into one, let us now pray to the Father in the very words our Lord Jesus Christ taught us. Our, our Father, Father, who art, who art in, in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy, thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all unnecessary worries and distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you my peace, I give you. Kindly look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant us peace within our hearts, peace in our mind, peace in our own homes, in our own families. Peace in our workplace, peace in our community, peace in our country and in the world. And grant unity in accordance with your will who lives and reigns forever and ever. 
Amen. My brothers and sisters, the peace of our Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now bless one another by giving each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. and sisters, this is Jesus, the God who has been reaching out to us, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are you who are invited here to receive Him in Holy Communion. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring us to everlasting love. Amen. For an orderly and safe distribution of Holy Communion, we will do it row by row. Kindly follow the ushers. For those outside the chapel, lay ministers will go out for distribution of Holy Communion.
Let us pray the prayer of Padre Pio of Petrochina. Stay with me, Lord, for it is necessary to have you present so that I do not forget you. You know how I easily abandon you. Stay with me, Lord, because I am weak and I need your strength, that I may not fall so often. Stay with me, Lord, for you are my life, and without you I am without fervor. Stay with me, Lord, for you are my light, and without you I am in darkness. Stay with me, Lord, to show me your will. Stay with me, Lord, so that I hear your voice and follow you. Stay with me, Lord, for I desire to love you very much and always be in your company. Stay with me, Lord, if you wish me to be faithful to you. Stay with me, Lord, for as poor as my soul is, I want it to be a place of consolation for you, a nest of love. Stay with me, Jesus, for it is getting late in the days coming to a close, and life passes, death, judgment, eternity approaches. It is necessary to renew my strength so that I will not stop along the way, and for that I need you. It is getting late and death approaches. I fear the darkness, the temptation, the dryness, the cross, the sorrows, Oh, how I need you, my Jesus, in this night of exile. Stay with me tonight, Jesus. In life, with all its dangers, I need you. Let me recognize you as your disciples did at the breaking of the bread, so that the Eucharistic communion with the light which disperses the darkness, the force which sustains me, the unique joy of my heart. Stay with me, Lord, because at the hour of my death, I want to remain united to you, if not by communion, at least by grace and love. Stay with me, Jesus. I do not ask for divine consolation because I do not merit it. But the gift of your presence, oh yes, I ask this of you. Stay with me, Lord, for it is you alone I look for, your love, your grace, your will, your heart your spirit because i love you and ask no other reward but to love you more in more with a firm love i will love you with all my heart while on earth and continue to love you perfectly during all eternity amen let us pray please stand humbly we ask you almighty god be graciously pleased to grant that those you renew with your sacraments may also serve with lives pleasing to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. Inuulit ko po, ang panawagan ay maging matuwid. We are called to be righteous, but not to be judgmental. Sayang naman, tama ang ginagawa. Kaya lang mapanghusga. Mga minamahal mga kapatid, kahit kailan hindi kinukulong ang tao sa kanyang kasalanan. Kaya nga habang may panahon, magbagong buhay. If today you hear His words, harden not your heart. Why? We are not assured of our tomorrows. What we have is today. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you and your family, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. We now go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Oh, 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 oh,